Alright, this is a video of my evacuated tube solar or thermal water heater. Alright, I've got full southern exposure, sun's up in the sky right now, and um, here's my pool cage at about 5.30, the sun will cast through the pool cage, but still, sun all day. Up top here, I've got my pressure relief valve, and for safety running that down. Here's my cold water in with a check valve, and my hose spigot, and right after that, the anoid. Right after that, you see the electrical outlet for a backup water heating element. And behind that is my hot in with a check valve again. And CPVC pipe. These are the tubes, the evacuated tubes. And these tubes are comprised of two pieces of glass. Um, between them, there's uh, a vacuum, uh, which acts as a perfect thermal insulator. And all the way inside of that is a, um, is a two, uh, is a metal rod. It's actually comprised of copper, and that uh, injects the heat straight up into the water heater. Here's the plumbing. Uh, here's where I tap my cold water. I've got a valve there so I can shut the system off from the rest of the house. And I run it all the way across over here. Up the wall, here's my PVC piping with a couple of 90 degree bends, neatly tucked away. All right. Here, ultimately, I go into a sediment filter. Uh, I use that because I'm on well. I'm uh, over here on the left. Um, that goes to my mixing valve, and there's a T split here. The, that's my cold water inlet. And it's got also, again, a check valve. Here I've got a valve, shutoff valve, and a check valve, so water can't flow backwards. This is my cold in to my mixing valve right there in silver. All right, I've got CPVC on the left, hot in. And down at the bottom is my mix. Here in the back, I have a check valve where my hot water comes out of my boiler. My hot water here. Got a temperature gauge, and a shutoff valve. This is my insulated CPVC running up the wall and across my screened lanai. It's a aluminum roof, so it gets very hot. Um, here I've got CPVC inside of a PVC pipe. This is three quarter, and that's uh, because I drilled a hole through the metal and it's um, I wanted to uh, Make sure it doesn't rub and cause issues. Right. Here I come down the wall and what I ultimately ended up using was a shark bite to connect to an existing copper pipe that runs back into my garage over to my original water heater. And I'll show you that now. Here's my 40 gallon or so electric hot water heater. First, I'll show you here on the left where my copper pipe comes in, and uh, that's my you know, my warm water from my solar unit. Let me focus. Here, I've got a T-split because I can go directly to the house, into the house, or I can first do a hot fill through my original water heater. My cold, oh, there's my cold. My cold uh, hookup is is currently just hooked up with a hose bib, so I have doesn't really serve the purpose. Here's my hot out through my hot water heater, and again through a T, and here I can measure my temperature after my mixing valve, and also uh, the pressures. Right, and that goes directly into my house. So with those red levers, I can uh, change the flow to be hot fill through the original water heater, or I can make it go straight into the house, depending on the temperatures needed, uh, but it's as a backup. Uh, if you have any questions, please you know, post below. I, I'd like to hear your feedback, comments, suggestions. Um, I am looking to uh, place a reflective type material underneath the 
tubes. 